right here. Up, up, turn around. Yeah, up, up. Heel. Hi folks. You know, it's been several years since we've done a flushing dog episode. We decided it was time to revisit a trainer that works with flushing dogs. So we're gonna go see Pat Perry in Royalston, Massachusetts. Hi folks. Boy, we've got a great program for you today. We're with Pat Perry, Hedgerow Kennels in Royalston, Massachusetts. Pat's been at this game a long time. Pat. Welcome to Bird Dogs Afield. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, wonderful. So Pat, Pat and I first met about 25 years ago, and I haven't seen him since. So this is a real treat for me. Uh, Pat, uh, tell me about when you got started and how long you've been doing this. Well, we've been here uh, probably about 32 or 33 years. Wow, that's a long time. Now, you'll train uh, flushing dogs, plus pointing dogs, right? Yep, and retrievers. And retrievers. Well, I can see, and folks, you'll see it later, he's got a great lake here, so he's got plenty of plenty of territory to train water, water work. So, you know, so Pat, today we're going to work on flushing dogs, and uh, what are we going to see, uh, spaniels, cockers? Yeah, today we have uh, two field-bred English cockers, and uh, they're very close to the same age. Um, in fact, both of them have the same sire, and um, but one is way ahead of the other in terms of training. Wonderful. So we're going to see something that started, but maybe not real fat, far along, and then a more accomplished dog. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Let's get going. Well, very good. All right. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food. Providing performance diets for the canine athlete and brought to you in part by RST, manufacturers of short chamber low pressure shot shells, Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast, Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, takes on the nuisance of foot odor. We have Max. Max is about a year and a half old. And he's out of uh, a national champion, uh, Fallen Wings Cairo. And um, the, actually the dog that we're going to run after him is the same breeding. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this guy come out. Oh, here, here, hop. Ah! Hop. All right. He is. Max is a started dog. Um, I just bought him actually. I, I had him for a little while last year and I wound up buying him from the owner. We're going to start some retrieving with Max. Um, here we kind of, we're, we're like a step a after them being on the retrieving table where we teach them the force hold. And also uh, a step after they've learned to come from one board to the other. All right. And now we're gonna just try to put it together. Heel, heel, come up, oh. come up, here, up, good boy. So I'm gonna try to have him hold the bird and bring it to the other board for me. Up, hold, up, good boy. I know, you're a little confused. Right here. Up, up, turn around. Here, up, up. Heel. Ah, here, here. Get up, get up. Get up. Good boy. Thank you. Thank you. Good boy. Okay, let's 
let's do that one more time. So we're just going to have them carry it back a couple times, and then I'll give them give an actual retreat. Yeah. Get up. Run up. Up. Here. Here. Up. Good boy. Hold. Up. All right, heel. Up. Thank you. Good boy. All right. Up. Nice. Heel. Heel. Right here. Come up here. Hold that bird. Come on up and hop. Hop. All the way. Good boy. Up. Thank you. Good. Up. We'll try one more. Now you can see how he's going beyond the, the fall after he picks it up and then he runs past me. That's why we're using this on the, the place board so that he learns to go from point A to point B. Up. Good boy. Max. Quick, quick. Heel. Ah, here. Up. Here, come up here, come up here. That a boy. Good boy. Thank you. Good. All right. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is we call it a pattern blind. And it's the first step in teaching him to do a, a blind retrieve. So I'm going to bring him out and actually let him see me throw the bird out. Then I'll bring him back from a different angle and send him for it. You know? A quick message from our all-important sponsors, and then we'll be right back with more Pat Perry and his English Cockers. Hi folks. Our dogs work very hard for us. They need and deserve a high-performance dog food. My choice is Native. Native has been formulated for the canine athlete. It has none of the low-value, hard-to-digest fillers such as soy, corn, wheat, it has only high-grade chicken and high-grade digestible grains. It comes in four levels of fat and protein. Each level is formulated for the stress and activity level for your dog at that time. Make the switch today. Your dog will be happy, and so will you. Hi, folks. Merkel is my choice for a shotgun. Whether it be simple backyard clay shooting or competitive clay shooting, or upland bird hunting, Merkel is spot on. You throw it up to your shoulder, it's always right there. Merkel is known for its elegant, high-performance shotguns. The new 40E field-grade shotgun is offered at an attainable and an affordable price. The Merkel shotgun is robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. Check out Merkel today. You won't be disappointed. You. Yeah. Good boy. Leave it. Heel. Heel. Good boy. Heel. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hop. Yum. Here, hop. Good boy. Hop. Dead bird. Max. Good boy. Yo. Ah, here, here. Quick, quick. Hold. Yo. Nap. Come on. Good boy. Thank you. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Hold that bird. Hold it. Thank you. Good boy. All right. So when we do this pattern blind, we, we use a, the Q dead bird, and with that, before we release him, and what that does, it tells, teaches him that the, when I say that, there's something out there. And so we're just building confidence for later on when he doesn't see the bird fall. We'll use that same Q and release him, and uh, usually they go out as fast as if they've seen the bird fall. Now, with the um, flushing dogs, we like to use the command hup, which means sit. And um, with, the, with the pointing dog, uh, with the retriever, we would probably say sit. And with the uh, pointing dogs, we would say whoa. So it, basically, it means stop. Just how they stop is different. Good boy. Yep. Yep. Up. Good. Now, with all of them, we use a one beep whistle, which would mean sit or hop or woe. Yo, yo, yo. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good boy, good boy, yes, all right, okay, deal. All right, so let's start with Luna. Luna belongs to one of my clients, uh, Bill Michelson, and um, she is uh, a very promising prospect. So let's take her out and uh, we'll take a look at her. We're going to work on some quartering, and then we'll have a flush of bird, and uh, hopefully we'll shoot it for her if my glasses are clean today. <laughs> I use a check cord with most of my training, so putting the check cord on allows us to use that more so than like going to an electric collar. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, baby. All right. Okay, heel, heel. Heel, heel. Now, one of the things I'm going to do with her is I'm going to just roll a bird in behind her because she's been running a little big. Heel, up. And by rolling the bird in behind her, they learn two things. They learn that every time we stop, there's something near the handler. And um, after a while, if, if you're hunting and they're starting to get out too far, we'll just, um, we'll just stop and they'll come in to check if there's something near you. Here. Here, here, up. Up. Hi, on. Good girl. Heel. Up. Good girl. Yes. Thank you. Up. Ah. Ah. Thank you. Up. Up. 
none of that. Hi, on. Up. Good girl. Here. Hop. Thank you and hop. Hop. Okay, hop. One of the things about quartering is I think it's misunderstood. They think, I think most people think that quartering means to go back and forth in front of the handle. And what it actually means is they, the dog has to quarter the wind. And by quartering the wind, they're easier to locate birds. So sometimes you might see the dog go, if you're going into the wind, you'll see them go back and forth in front of you. Where if you're in the downwind, they'll be a little bit deeper. Smelling anything between you and the dog, hup. And if you have a crosswind, you'll see them almost go up and down. Uh, they'll go out and come back in, quarter in the wind. Help. A quick message from our all-important sponsors, and then we'll be right back with more Pat Perry and his English Cockers. Hi, friends. You know, whether you're a hiker, hunter, jogger, walker, all of those activities create sweat and moisture in your footwear. That moisture leads to bacteria, mildew, mold, all bad things for your feet. To eliminate that moisture, you need a peat shoe dryer. The new PowerCell peat eliminates that moisture and creates a better atmosphere for good foot health. Hi, Bird Dogs of Field viewers. I'm here today with Dylan, who's almost 10 years old and still hunting hard. So in order to help him, we use Canine Active. It's for working and hunting breeds, and it is my go-to for pain relief and for an anti-inflammatory. You can use it before strenuous activity to help keep them moving and help reduce muscle soreness, or you can use it after for recovery. Try it today, Canine Active. We're gonna take Luna out and shoot Try to shoot a bird for her. We're gonna let her quarter a little bit and find a bird. Hopefully she'll be steady. And um, if I can hit the bird, we'll get a retrieve. Uh, Luna and most of the dogs that we, we work, we, we actually start them in the field when they're about four months old. And between four months and five months old, we're actually shooting birds over them. And um, all we're doing is, I call it um, developmental training. We're just bringing out the natural ability in the dog. And sometimes, I mean, we'll, we'll run into detours with like retrieve, where the dog would um, not want to come in all the way with the bird. Maybe they'll start uh, running around, showing off with it. In which case, we'll just stop retrieving for a while. And then we'll develop the other, the other things that we want to see in the field. But they're getting exposed to birds and cover and gunfire, all the things that they're going to be doing later on when they get formal training. Up. Okay, let's take her out and see what we get. Heel. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to take this cord off her. Up. Up.
up, up, all the way, up, good girl. Luna. Good girl. Here. Up. Up. Thank you. Okay, so I don't know if you got to see her flush the bird, but she flushed the bird and then she sat down and um, she waited to be sent for the retrieve. The, um, with many of the dogs that, that run with another dog, it's better to teach them to, to retrieve by name or to release them by name rather than to use the command fetch, in which case you probably send more than one dog. If they both understand fetch, they're both going to go. Bird Dogs Afield, brought to you in part by Wood and Stream, outdoor footwear, outfitting adventures since 1957. Visit woodandstream.com for a dealer near you. Canine Active, providing safe, non-toxic pain relief for your dog. Merkel Shotguns, robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the Steady. Um, steady helps the dogs be, or, or it helps the situation be safer for the dog. Rather than um, flushing a bird and chasing, um, sometimes the guns can't shoot. And if they do, it's, it's dangerous sometimes if the bird's too low. So um, what we like to do is steady the dog. After they flush the bird, they got to sit down or hop as we, we say it in, with the Spaniels. And um, then they need to wait and be sent for a retrieve. Now during the steadying process, we, um, we might only give them one retrieve for every six birds. And um, that puts in their minds so that they, they never know when they're going to be sent for retrieve. So I'm going to just do a little drill here and show you what one of the, the things that we do. Heel. Hop. Okay, so I don't know which way that wind is blowing up. But usually what we want to do with the spaniel is, ah, up, is we want them to flush when we're teaching to flush downwind so that they don't smell the bird until they're on top of it. Because if they smell it and they're going into the wind, then they'll start quartering into it. And um, sometimes they slow, slow up and sometimes they'll actually start to point. And so the, how we, we train these spaniels are, is a little bit tougher than just steadying a retriever or, or a pointing dog. Here. Come over here. Up. Luna. Up. Gone away. Heel. 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 Gone away. Good girl. Up. Come over here. You talk about marking the flight of a bird. She would not let that bird get out of her sight. Yes, she? yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, that's pretty important too. Here. Up. If a dog doesn't mark a bird, it means that you're going to be in the field longer just for that one bird, then where otherwise, you know, you could spend 10 minutes trying to re recover a bird that they didn't fall, that they didn't mock, where if they had mocked it, you could be on to your next bird. Okay, we're gonna do a uh, blind retrieve with, with Luna. And the key, the key to this is here. Is um, you they remember the, a place. So when we do a pattern blind. We might do that um, for several days in a row, where they see us throw it out there, and then we'll um, 
we'll use that same place after a few days and uh, we'll put the bird out without the dog seeing it and send them from different angles and usually they remember that place and they'll go right to it. Heel! After you get a few different places, hop! Then their, their confidence is built up so that when you give them the cue dead bird, they'll go anywhere. Heel, 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 hop. So I threw the bird in the woods back there where that uh, thicker birch tree is. Heel, hop, here. Dead bird. Dead bird. Luna! Good girl. Here, hop, hold, and hop. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. All right. Very good. <clears throat> Pat, I can't thank you enough for all of your help today and uh, show us about a. a an English cocker. That was exciting. I've never seen an English cocker work. That was very exciting and I can see why the country's kind of uh, in love with a cocker these days. Yeah, they're pretty nice dogs. But you know, I like all dogs. <laughs> I know. Well, you know I'm a pointing dog man, but uh, I can see the, the uh, uh, you know, as you said earlier, the, the cocker's a great dog. If you've got a pointing dog, why well, have your dog point, send the, in the cocker for the flush, the retrieve. That's a nice combination. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Good. Pat, thanks again. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing this episode. And I'll let you know when it's up. And I appreciate all your time. I thank you very much. Thanks for having me. You bet. I hope you enjoyed that episode. And I also hope to meet you in the field someday. Bird Dogs at Field, presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by RST Shot Shells. Mud River Dog Products, Pete Shoe Dryer, Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, Canine Active, and Merkel Shotguns.